I want to go across, now once again, to Niharika Karaji Balai, where she's the lawyer on the show. Supreme Court is not the highest law-making body, it's the parliament, it is uh, what happens in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, that is where laws are made. Supreme Court can't be stepping yeah. in to make laws. You know, Rahul, I, I think what I was referring to at the moment is the question of interpretation of laws and interpretation of the constitution is a purview that lies with the judiciary. And in that regard, as I said, we are already strongly of the opinion that in the existing framework of laws, there is full potential for interpretation to be brought in that allows sex marriage and that allows equal protection of the law as the court has already mandated must happen to all members of society. And frankly, despite that, I mean, to people's religious objections, because people are saying marriage is something that is, has arisen from religious beliefs. I respectfully disagree with that. I believe that it has arisen from cultural and societal beliefs, which are always changing. But what have they to say about the question of civil marriage? There is a civil marriage provision in the law. There is a special marriage act, which we have moved the court under. If this has nothing to do with religion, can they remove their objection? To no, it? let that Deshrata Nigam respond to it, because marriage is not just about religion. It's also about the special marriage act. It's also about uh, the fundamental rights, it's about the right to equality, it's about global practices, it's about the law as it stands. And what the and likes the of Niharika are trying to do is to argue that the law should be interpreted because nothing is specifically written against homosexuals uh, and therefore uh, this should be permitted. And that's the case they hope to argue before the constitution bench. Uh, Rahul, uh, I just want to come Rahul. in on this. Basically, it's like... Uh, Rahul, I've been living with my partner for 27 years now, you know? and uh, we have been together for 27 years and uh, everybody around us has accepted us. The family has accepted, the people around us, the colleagues, friends, everybody has accepted us. And if you're not allowed to marry, how do we survive? So basically, if my partner, if he is hospitalized, I'm not able to sign for him. That is a basic right a couple should have. Two people living together for 27 years should have this basic right to at least sign for a surgery of a partner. I mean, that is the basic constitutional right. If that cannot be enshrined by the uh, government or the parliament, I really think we, it's, it's going to be Let very Shridhar difficult. Let Sridhar respond to that. If, uh, uh, if uh, Sridhar's partner is unwell, has to be admitted, he can't sign for a treatment and if they've been together for almost three decades, that is really unfair, which is what Sri Raj Nair, the likes of Sridhar Angayan and the others are trying to change their right me, to be with their partner, to take care of their partner. Let me answer. Uh, see, see what two individuals do uh, in a closed door house. But this is not closed door, this is at a hospital where he's trying to get his partner admitted to a hospital no, for no, possibly life saving surgery. Yeah, so, but then partner may be, see, fine, fine, this is, but this argument is absolutely, you know, a joke. Now the person who, who is, uh, who is ailing or is hospitalized, he has his mother, father, brothers, everybody is there. For but that, legitimacy, no, 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 I don't know how this is justified. See, no, see for human civilization to go ahead, there has to be a union of man and woman. Where are we taking the human civilization then? No, one second, one second. Shridhar wants where to respond are, to what you're saying. The human no, one, one second, one second. No, 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 no let's, let's, deal, let's deal with it one by one. Let Shridhar and Ryan respond to why can't your mother, father, brother, sister come in. One second, Shridhar. And then get that same surgery done. Let's build on that same example. Just for hospitalization. No, one second, Shridhar. Okay, Shridhar. Shridhar, can you just let me finish, please? Thank you. So I am basically like almost uh, right now I'm 60. I was I'll be 70. In between my dear friend. Let him speak, please. So I'm now 60 years old, and to, uh, very soon I'll be 70 and old. And after that, my parents would have passed away. Already, my father has passed away. My mother is going to be there. So if they cannot, uh, they will not be here for me all along. And my partner is the only person who's going to be with me for life. And that is the main thing. Should I respond? Is, if people get older, partner. oftentimes. Parents aren't there, they could be around, yeah. they could be dead, they could be aged, they could be unwell. If your partner now needs surgery or treatment, away. then Shridhar yeah, really needs to be away, able to right? do this. Why but, should he be Rahul, denied that? Be far right? away. They, the person who's next to me so, all the time is my partner. See, there are many senior citizens, there are many individuals who, are, who, who have remained bachelors all their life. Does it mean that you have to get married for this? And that too for a, a same-sex marriage? I don't think this argument is, uh, you know, valid. 
this is absolutely unvalid just for the sake of hospitalization. You think that if you are going to be hospitalized, you will not have anybody to sign. The, uh, for that, you need to have a uh, have a ma marriage solemnized. This is this is uh, absolutely Sriraj, uh, are, uh, if, wrong argument. I believe this. If you are alone, in, as I rightly as I said earlier, individual you know. choices are one aspect. But legitimizing. No, but you aren't uh, being able to explain yourself very we well. Not for, we no, are one second. You, you've said you've opposed this.